Let's see if we can make this. Hello all. Decided to go ahead and make a uh, video on these three new sewer clips that I found today. Stupid. Alright, so let's make a video about this. Alright, so I found these three new clips and sewers today. I was doing some testing with the, uh... These new keybinds. It's the ones where you bind crouch and jump to wheel up and wheel down. Found some pretty interesting stuff in sewers today. I thought I'd go over them one by one. Start off with the uh, most irrelevant of them, which is the uh, Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge the to pig strap? So to the we can use the flow. Alright, let's make a video of this. I'm gonna go ahead and document these three new clips that I found in sewers today. I was doing some research on trying to get out of bounds in some of the earlier parts of sewers, but not quite as early as the one that I've been using here with this wall. And I guess I'll go over the uh keybinds first. I have crouch and jump bound to both wheel up and wheel down on the mouse wheel, so every time I'm doing a jump input it's going to be with the uh, the mouse wheel. It lets you get an extremely large amount of jumps and crouches in. It allows for a lot of these boosts and clips that I'm going to be going over here. So the first one it's like right here at the beginning, it uses the pig in the sewer water, so we need to get up over this railing by just running into this wall, spamming the mouse wheel, jump up it, and then hold back as you're like making this arc here. You can get through during the, uh, the dialogue, but since your movement speed's so slow, it's a bit difficult. Still not really used to. Still not used to that boost yet. It's really not very relevant because it's like the worst of the three clips that I found. Get in the poo water. Grab the pig. And you just 
just use it to climb back into bounds. Where am I? I don't want to be here. Dude, fuck this big. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a video. Decide to uh, document these changes. Alright, let's go ahead and document these. So I was missing a lot messing around a lot in sewers today trying to find out where we could clip out of bounds in between this uh, spot that I use right here at this wall and the standard route that uses the pipe way off in the distance and I found three clips today I'll go over them all and I should probably go over the inputs because those are pretty important for all of these I'm using crouch and jump bound to both mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down so every time I'm jumping I'm using the mouse wheel to spam inputs that allows me to get enough jump inputs to like boost up all of the uh, geometry in this game quick enough so the first one that I'm going to go over, which is the this worst of the clips that I found, it's not very useful, so involves the pig, so you just need to boost up that, uh, that arced wall, and like as you're spamming the jump inputs, you uh, run into the wall and as you're boosting up it just hold back and you should be able to fly over this wall. I usually don't get it that fast, but... Lucky this time. Find the pig here, and you can just use him to get back in the bounds. Because we need to be over here in this corner. And the pig's pretty much just used, it's like the closest object that you can like interact with because all you really need to do is just get on top of this metal beam and then you can just do a standard ceiling clip in this corner here still not the most consistent see that I got out of bounds right there and the pig's like right below you, so if you screw it up you can just pop back up, but that'd be really slow. Yeah, this is the main reason why I'm counting this one as like the worst of the three new clips, because the pig is just so inconsistent in how he works. The ceiling clip's bad enough. I've gotten up there like four times now and haven't gotten it. It's really easy to fall out to. There, finally. Alright. So you can just make it into that corner, make sure you're not under this right bar, and then just spam the mouse wheel jumps while you're holding sprint, and you'll pop out right here. And best case scenario, you trigger the flat or you trigger the dialogue, boost up the wall before the dialogue ends, even though it's more difficult whenever the dialogue's going on because you have that movement speed reduction. Grab the pig, come back into bounds, boost up here into the corner, or fly into the corner rather because you have the pig, and then you just clip out of the ceiling here. If there's a way to get on top of 
this iron bar without using the pig. It'd be a lot faster, but... Oh well. It gives use for the pig in sewers, which is amusing if nothing else. But anyway, the other clip. It's a lot more... Roots. Along the same line as the route that's like used by most people right now, which is just going over here, using that pipe right there to clip out of bounds, then backtracking a little bit, and clipping it through the, uh, or just walking over the decontamination room over there, but instead of going into that room over there and going through this tunnel and backtracking a little bit, you can just clip up here through the ceiling off of this like little grating area by just like boosting into this corner. Which this boost isn't very consistent either. I'm sure with enough practice if you could get this in like one or two like one or two tries it would be worth replacing the route that's used by most people right now. I'm pretty much just running into the wall and like right as I'm hitting it, I'm spamming the jump button and letting go of sprint, like as I hit the wall. Because if you just hold sprint the entire time, you're not going to be able to get wedged up in between the ceiling and uh, this thing right here. Because you'd be standing, so... You gotta let go of sprint. This is ridiculous. I was hitting this in like two tries earlier. No, this is unacceptable. We have to start the video over. So let's go ahead and document these clips that I found. I was messing around in sewers earlier, found three new clips in between this wall that I've been using recently. We just clip out right here at the beginning, and the current route which uses the pipe in that far room at the first sluice valve thing. and. None of them are really very consistent. I've only just found out about them today. The first one that I'm going to show off is pretty much useless in terms of a speedrun, because it involves the pig, and it's like the most inconsistent thing in the game. The thing is impossible to control, but uh, I'll go ahead and go over the keybinds first, since those are pretty important. I got crouch and jump bound to both mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down, so I can just spam jump inputs to get the boosts that most of these things require. Like every single one of them requires a ridiculous boost that I wasn't able to do before I switched to these keybinds, which is why I didn't find out about them until now. But anyway, first one. It's like right after you trigger this Isn't slowdown event with the dialogue about all the poo. We can use the flow to drive the turbine. It involves the pigs, so you have to you have to get this boost out to the sewer area. Over this railing. And you can get this boost before the dialogue ends. I'm just not very good at it. 
it's really incons- it's another thing that makes this inconsistent. Like, not only is the pig inconsistent, but that boost is just terrible. It's also a water monster, but he's immobile, so it doesn't really matter. I can just take a wide turn. Grab the pig, boost back up. back here, and the pig's pretty much just used so you can get like this extra couple feet to get on top of this iron bar right here. This one, it's, once you're on that iron bar, this is pretty much just a standard ceiling clip from here. But as far as I know, the only way to get up here is with either this pig or with like a chair that you would have to go all the way to the first sleuth the sleuth gate valve whatever that thing is and that's where we go out of bounds right now anyway so yeah the pig's closer but anyway that's this first clip that I found out about trigger the slow event boost off the wall, hit an arc, fall into the sewer water, grab the pig, come back out into bounds, and then just hop up onto this iron bar and clip. So that's the worst of the clips that I've found so far. Pig's unreliable, it's inconsistent and pretty slow, but this next one I actually think is pretty useful. That isn't even the best one. The third one I'm gonna go over is my favorite so far. But the normal route that people use right now is to hit that slowdown trigger and run all the way into this room, boost up onto that pipe, and then do the ceiling clip, and then backtrack a little bit to run over the decontamination room right here. But right here, like, before you even go into this tunnel, you can just get on top of this thing right here, and then do a ceiling clip off there, just cut out that entire section. The only problem is this boost isn't really all that consistent. Like... I can get it... every now and then, but... I have to screw it up a couple of times or else it will look much better than it actually is. Anyway. Yeah. Just running into this corner with sprint, holding jump, or spamming jump, and then letting go of sprint so that you can actually get wedged up in between these two. And then once you're up there, just looking at like this angle, holding sprint and then doing a normal ceiling clip right there. And if you get this first try, it saves about like 9 or 10 seconds over going into this other far room doing the pipe clip. But like I said, this isn't a very, very consistent boost. Like once you get on top of this thing, the ceiling clip is really easy, but Getting on top of its, or the boost itself isn't, isn't the easiest trick in the world. I'll try and get it one more time just to, yeah. Damn it! <laughs> That's another thing, it's really easy to slip off of this once you get on top of it. Because it has that sloped surface that is just terror in Amnesia games. Alright, here we go. Once you get on top of this point, I just look, hit about this angle to the door, hold shift, and do a couple of jump inputs, and it'll put me through every time. And anyway, that cuts out the walk to this pipe over here, and then the walk from this out of bounds section to here. So. Yeah, like 9 or 10 seconds if you can get that first try. But the clip it, or the boost in the clip itself isn't very consistent. The 
favorite, or my favorite thing that I've found so far is like right here at the beginning, but it doesn't involve going into the sewer water and getting the pig. I'll go ahead and reload the save to see if I can get it during the flashback, or the, not flashback, but the uh, slowdown trigger. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this it's like to right here. production and ensure constant. There's invisible day. walls that Godless like make up the hitbox for these two is the true product of the age. Or for these railings right here that you can just boost up on top of. And then once you're up here, I'll just hold sprints, run back and forth. And eventually I can just get a ceiling clip, like right here at the beginning. You can sometimes get out of the ceiling before the dialogue even ends, which is almost as good as the, uh, the sewer clip at the beginning that just skips that dialogue trigger over there, but yeah. So that's my favorite one that I've found so far. The only problem is I don't know exactly how the ceiling clip works. For the other one, the boost was inconsistent. This one... Getting on top of these invisible walls is pretty easy, but the uh, the ceiling clip, I don't understand where you have to be exactly. But yeah, this will cut out the entire, uh, the entire walk through these tunnels. At the weird angles, you can do, or you can do some corner cutting. a lot more direct of a path. There's not all of these weird turns everywhere that you have to go through. And getting that ceiling clip is about as consistent as this right here, so that's even more time saved. But like I was saying, the uh, ceiling clip right here, I'm not sure how it works exactly. Oh, and I should also mention that whenever I'm trying, or whenever I'm getting this boost right here, I'm not holding sprints, I'm just holding forward, adjusting my position because the angle kind of slides you to the left, and then spamming scroll wheel for jump and crouch. It doesn't seem to work very well if you just spam a uh, mouse wheel as hard as you can. I seem to have to like slow my scrolling down to get the boost properly. But anyway, if I can find a way to make this clip more consistent, I'm probably gonna start using this for the single segment runs. So there's no risk of dying here. Like even if you get trapped in the sewer water you can just grab the pig and fly back out before you just run through that wall and like four out of five times you just fall to your death but this is easy no chance of dying at all it's just inconsistent like all of the tricks I find Again. But anyway, yeah. If I can ever find out how to make the uh, ceiling clip here more consistent, it should be a pretty good way to do sewer from now on, with no risk of death. Except for the rest of the sewers, I mean. Anyway, go ahead and tr look into this further and see if I can keep everyone updated on how all of the new tech is coming along. So... Bye!